Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here with an introduction to the video you're about to watch on the modifications we did to the oil pan to get it to fit to the engine block on Dark Matter Pikachu. It also contains the information on what we did to attach the oil drain to the oil pan for the turbo. A lot of useful stuff in here. It was originally part of a longer video that I decided to split up into two parts. This is one of those parts. I'll link the other video down in the description when it becomes available. To be honest, I'm not sure who's going to get released first. But when it's available, I will link that in the description. But for now, why don't we head over to Calvinator Engines and get started with this video. Justin, we need to paint the oil pan. Mm -hmm. I'm also running a turbo. We need to make a hole in the oil pan to do the return line for the turbo. Yep. We want to do this now before we paint it. Instructions say to use an air hammer. I think mostly because they don't want to put metal shavings in the pan. They're assuming that the pan is still on the vehicle at the time. So if you run an air hammer through with, you've got a little spike attachment there. And, and you, there's a certain location that they have that you locate everything on. Uh, I, I'll put a link in the description to the kit that I'm using and perhaps you can find the PDF for the instructions. But anyway, we've marked where it's supposed to go. It doesn't look like we're going for the air hammer option. We are. What they don't show you is what their air hammer attachment looks like. And they don't even describe it. I think they'd said pointy. Uh, well, I, I'm assuming that. I got a dull one okay. that I use for peening. Okay. I don't have a pointy one. Okay. And I'm not going to grind on one just for you. You're special. Just not that special. Not that special. It's okay. I get it. All right. So we're going to go about half and half. I'm going to start with a smaller hole and then pound that hole out. And the reason, the other reason they talked about it beyond putting metal shavings into the oil pan is they need the lip on the edge of that so that we can actually run a tap into it next, which is the 3 8 NPT tap, because we're going to put basically a line sticking out of the oil pan so we can return the oil from the turbo into the oil pan. And hopefully we won't need to buy a new oil pan. I'm really hoping that, because these can be expensive and this one's kind of special. So, drill away, my friend. Easy That's enough. point of no return now. <laughs> <laughs> JB Weld? Well, I, I, was, I was thinking welder, but okay. Because the rest of this thing is welded. It looks like I welded it. Actually, it looks better than my welds, if I'm honest. Well, there's a hole in it now. Didn't anticipate that, did you? No, I didn't. <laughs> Let me get some channel Ooh. locks. Oh, man. We got to bend the baffle down a little bit, too. Aww. And that's one of the reasons why we wanted to make sure that we went here so that the return came in under the baffle, which is really nice. It won't spray onto the crank. Uh, that's part of the reason this is here. Well, not for our turbo return, but for the fact that we don't want oil coming back up all the way around on the crankshaft because that can uh, cause some problems. It'll bend back. Oh, yeah, it will. No problem. Yeah. This is what back. happens when you modify things, kids. Nothing ever goes as planned? No. Nope. That's the stuff. Yeah, that ain't bad at all. A couple of taps with it. Well, you know what? It might be fine. There's a slight raise there, but I don't think it's we'll any. I don't think it's any worse than the warping they got from welding that. We'll check it uh, against the crank waist to make sure it's not making contact. Yeah, we'll get the short block together. We'll dry fit the pan, rotate the engine over, make if sure we, we don't hear, hear any clicks. If we hear it, then we know we did. We need to yeah. massage it. With a hammer. Now we need to tap that hole. Yep. That'll open up a little bit. Okay. So our hole isn't quite big enough. This is the end result. We want this. Here's the return hose for the turbo. So this needs to go in here so we can put our return in. But the hole, a little bit too small. Justin has a solution. Hammer it again. Again. Mmm. It's just making a bigger dent. No, it's not chamfered. Lips hitting. Well, let's try the tap. I also broke my air hammer. Really? My oil pan broke your air hammer. Oh. Uh, no my dad just bought this 25 years ago. <laughs> And you broke it. I break everything. You're doing it wrong. <laughs> it's because I was doing it wrong. Yes, we're doing it wrong. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it with fire. I think it's working. Uh, I think it's making the dent bigger. I think it'll go. All right. This 
stuck in the hole. Oh yeah. Channel locks again. There we go again. This will not be an effective drain. Nice. Boop. Well done. Cool. Uh. Uh. What? Uh. Mmm. Mmm. Got no gas in it. Can we stick something through there with like a threaded nut on it and slide hammer it out a little bit so that way it sort of comes back in the other direction? And also gets rid of some of this indentation here around the side. Went from too small to too big. We'll get it. We're narrowing it down. <laughs> and dad walks away. <laughs> Check it. Yeah. Can't go too far. Otherwise we'll be going back. So what we did was we just put a nut on the other side of this slide hammer. And we're going back the other way. A little more. I think a washer might help. Maybe. It'll help spread the load, but I mean, it's just sitting there on an edge anyway. Yeah. I'm gonna get a washer. I am the human vice. Mm. Yeah, right? You need to go yeah. that way with it a little bit. So like when you come up this time, head towards my face. <laughs> It's all good. Where your face was? Where my face was. Okay. <laughs> you were just I didn't know if you were like moving the target yeah. or. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, here. You tried to hit my face. <laughs> I don't know. Hmm. Where are you at? It seems like we're not making as much progress as as we do. No, I think I want to try it. You want to try to run the tap in? Just see where we're at? Yeah. All right. Well. Put it on the hand side. I don't like that last turn there. I didn't like that last turn there. It looked like it. Just a test. This is only a test. Yeah. Aha! Right track. A little bit more. A little bit more slamming tapping. with the hammer? No, or tapping. Tapping? Okay. Well, tell me what you think. It's your pan. <laughs> it's your problem. <laughs> Not mine. Well, it's brass. I'd yeah. say run it in with sealer and it'll, it should seal up well. Yeah. Do you want to run the tap in a little bit more? Or? No, because look, I mean, I'm almost bottomed out. Okay. I don't know, I'd have to, and it's brass, so it, it'll conform, won't it? Yeah. My concern is for sealing, obviously. Yeah. Would it be to silicone? Yeah. I almost think that like once that's run down, the brass will sort of, you know what? Uh, <laughs> Jimmy did that. No, I didn't. I didn't. I was like, oh crap. <laughs> I was like, really? No. My feelings are hurt. Uh, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking if we put some Teflon tape on here, maybe? Or should we just put sealer on here? I think just sealer, actually, because Teflon tape. You don't want that in the oil pan? No, okay. I don't. We'll so, just use sealer. A little a little sealer's dry. Maybe it'll be a silicone for extra, mm -hmm. extra ness. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with that. I, I think we can run that down a little bit farther because the, the fitting is brass. Right. right. Well, I mean, you're the guy that works with metal in the machine shop all day, so and you're just looking at me like it's your pan. It is your pan. <laughs> run it down. Keep running it in. Well, if you want to, if you want to run the tap down, go ahead. Run it oh. down. Run it down. Brian likes the tap. You can't see on camera, but Brian is going. He wants more tapping. He just wants a little more tapping. No, we'll uh, pop, it, pop it out, put sealer on it, and just run it in. And no more tapping? No more tapping. Sorry, Brian. Ha ha. Take that, Brian. So we'll pull that out, clean the shavings out, sealer, our, run it in. I 
I'm doing the drain plug. Ah, I'm special. All right, so this is our solution. Sealant, and then there are threads. Lots of sealant. Lots of sealant. It'll be fine. And then there are threads. Well, it's not like it's a stress point, you know? It's no. Vibrations is the most we got to deal with and whatever. <laughs> and that half pound of JB Weld will fix that. Yeah, exactly. It looks proper. That's pretty freaking solid. Thank you. <laughs> solid that's manly silicone now for extra protection so if you ever decide to give up this machining gig are you gonna like decorate cakes and stuff be a plumber there you go caulking bathrooms and windows there you go oh yeah mr. cock <laughs> 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 he thought that was funny. I'm Mr. Cock. There we go. I just had a thought. All right. I want to put the mains on. The mains on the ends so you don't yeah. have to worry about... Because uh, in the instructions for the block, they did mention main bearing to... Uh, or main bearing cap to pan clearance. Just because these are a four bolt main cap as opposed to the two. Correct. So we we'll want to put check those on. Yeah, we'll put those on. We want to know go that. Back to that. We want to know that before we have to bend the pan some more. Yeah, we want to know if we gotta do that before we make it all nice and pretty. You know, this started off as a painting. <laughs> we we're gonna put some paint on this engine and this oil pan. Well, welcome to hot rodding, kids. Doesn't quite go the way you plan. It never does. Never. No, we, we've discovered the problem. The problem is, see this right here? When you put this down on here, what's happening is it's sitting on that and rotating over like that. So in my opinion, since we've gone through all the trouble with this anyway, the thing to do is just come in here and notch this for each one of the mains, is what I say, because he was not going to be there anyway. And what you're about to do is put marking compound all the way across so we know where to notch it and cut it out. So we're still gonna use it, it's just, like you said, aftermarket block, we're gonna have to work for it. And that's a marking compound so that when we stick this on there. Die can. You know what that looks like? Bingo. Yes, it does. <laughs> this is also what we use. B37, B37. <coughs> Bingo! You want me to do this or? Yeah, go ahead. Hold on. Ah, no, go ahead. All right, I'm trying to line these holes up exactly. You're pretty good. I made nothing. Ah. But I knocked that cap out. Yeah. So we've done it when it's wet? No. Am I just a wuss or I just don't have the machinist touch? What, what's wrong with me here? Hmm. Dude. Trying to find out where it hits. Oh, whether it hits on that or what? I think, I think that's where it's hitting because it feels like it hits these and gets pushed sideways. Is what it feels like. I'm just gonna eliminate this. That's good. You know. And now you know. I didn't want that to be the issue. <laughs> no, because that's a bunch of 
pain in the butt work, but <clears throat> I cannot get it to. Hmm. Might not be hit. Although, I'm gonna use Prussian blue. All right. See, you did give me the bingo marker. Really? Where's Prussian blue at? So now you're putting Prussian blue, which is basically Bic ink. Yep. Uh, on there, so that maybe we can get a better impression of where it's hitting yep. and what it's hitting. What if you can make tattoos with that? I don't know. I don't have a needle. We're good. All right, we're good. <laughs> Not gonna try it today. Oh, there we are. That's going the other way, isn't it? No, it's still going the same oh, way. Okay. It's just when you try to push it down, yeah. it goes in that direction. Any what is? Anywhere. Yeah, right oh. there. Okay, yeah. It's just right there, it seems. It seems like that's it. Hmm. Cool. Hmm. We just beat on it. <laughs> Seriously? See, that guy there. It, yeah, you're right. It kind of does feel. It's just twisting it. Yeah, it's just twisting it. So as the square part settles in. Yeah, because that's. You know, I can totally see. Oh. Grease. Yeah. I can totally see it coming right down on that cap, yeah. just like you said. You can actually see where that cap has been hit a bunch of times too, oh. right along the side and not the others. So you're absolutely right. Plenty of blue. You know, it sounds just like a telephone when you hit it. more well I don't know those bolts are lining up mm, not good enough it's not quite there no but it's darn close oh yeah this is called clearancing the pan <laughs> I can hit the pan <laughs> I did I did smack it Paint a little bit. Cool. It's only metal. Depends. And again, we were just trying to paint it. It's definitely making us work for every inch. Why does it seem like it's got to go forward? It lines up in the rear. Yeah, it's weird. Nobody makes these things perfect. I suppose not. Unless you spend $800, and they get one that drops right on. Sure you do. And it's aluminum. That sounds expensive. Well, $800. They're, they're pretty. Yeah. So what do you think? Make the holes bigger on a couple just so that they drop in or? Oh, well, we're not hitting there anymore. That's good news. No, we're not hitting there. I think that's no longer the issue. I just yeah. think, you know, because they're back here, they're lining up perfect, but the closer they get to the front, yeah, the more off they become. And I just, I have the concern that like all, not all the bolts are gonna, like these two, is, these three especially. Like that looks okay, that looks, yeah. You know what? Here's, yes. my, here's my thought. Okay. Maybe just come back here a little bit more okay you know so that way there's just a little more clearance there and maybe we can move it forward and maybe that's all it is maybe it does line up it's just maybe it's just hitting right there a little bit could be yeah this one's not not going yeah i can get my front and my rear in so you just want to enlarge the holes well I gotta get one back here in just so I can see. It might be okay. Well, that was a fair amount more work than we had originally anticipated. Yeah, pun intended. 
Uh, but seriously, we had a blast making this. And this is the kind of thing you run into when you get aftermarket blocks with four bolt mains where there were no four bolt mains before and you want to add a turbo to your vehicle. You're going to have to have an oil drain going back into that oil pan or wherever else, depending upon what kind of system you're running. Uh, Justin's a pleasure to work with. I loved all my time at, at uh, Calvinator Engines and I'll link them down in the description so you can check them out. I will also link any additional information such as the turbo kit that I used and anything else that goes along with this video. As promised at the beginning of the video, I will also link the other video and there will also be a link to the Fairmont playlist if you want to look at more Fairmont videos. But keep in mind that other video uh, will only be there once it is posted and live. Outside of that, if you have automotive questions, I'd ask that you head over to ericthecarguy.com. I will link that in the description. Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, if you wish to connect with me socially, also linked in the description. Noticing a theme here. I post repair videos and also Fairmont videos on Fridays, so stop back and see me then. Close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, stay dirty. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.